Neil had a tremendous reputation. He was unlike any other Oregon politician. He was very charismatic. I voted for him. He wasn't just the right guy at the right time. He was a really smart guy in a time of unimaginative doldrums in this state. Neil Goldschmidt did a lot of great things as a public figure. And he was very accomplished. You want to give him credit for that, but that's all you want to do. My friends, perhaps it is time for you and for me to ask the question, if we know of abused children among us and do nothing to help, then who are we? The people that were part of his sphere, some people call it the Goldschmidt machine. People tied themselves to the coattails of Neil Goldschmidt. They kissed his ring finger. <laughs> it's like, I mean, he was a god. They were all totally enthralled by Neil. When he knocked on your door, you opened it even if you knew he was going to ask you to do things you didn't want to do. I helped create an image of him as a child advocate. I felt like I was used to promote this man who should have been in the state penitentiary. What other job pays you to fall in love with children every day of the week? This was right inside the beating heart of Oregon's progressive community in his neighborhood. That's pretty close to home. high school, I teach 14 year olds. I know exactly the kinds of behavior that can go on and she was a predator and Neil was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but not a pedophile. People knew about it and they did nothing. They did nothing. You know, I finally told the Oregonian and they described the detailed information I gave him as an old cold trail that led nowhere. You know, it was just a tip that came in and it, it fell between the cracks. What group of editors sitting in a room says, let's let this one go because Neil's Neil? It's all about the money. It's always about the money. And then there were these responses from people in the community. We're talking about people in corporations. We're talking about some elected officials. We need this guy. You know, we can't get along without him. I hope he comes back. And uh, she had no one to stand up for her. Only two people truly know what he did. One of them is now dead. This is not the story of someone who fell from grace. It's the story of someone who got away with it.